and underway the Portland Timbers and Sporting Kansas City tonight's match presented by Danner Boots to get up onto their opposition Sporting Kansas City for the Timbers are going to have to be good on the ball but they're also going to have to be smart and so they don't necessarily have to overplay at times but here they're doing a great job cutting through Aspria has a Pobese in the middle he looks for him Pobese is saved by Melia Martins sprung behind by Fontes Leaves it for Polito. It's blocked by Tui Loma. Polito back on it. Into the middle. Falls for Lindsay. Jalen Lindsay opens the scoring. His second career goal and Sporting Kansas City goes up 1-0. So far Sporting Kansas City in this from Fontas. What a ball as Van Rankin gets pulled out. And Martins, he picks his head up. But Tui Loma, he is there for the block. The Timbers, they don't recover quick enough afterwards. Van Rankin, he tries to get himself back. You can see that the Timbers are scrambling. Luria just can't sort his feet out, and Lindsay sticks on to it. The right back takes this so well. As Polito just picks up his head, he's almost just putting it into an area. And Luria, he can't sort his feet out to see away that pass. And Lindsay, the right back, he steps on it, and he connects and hits it so clean. Just a nice area for Valeri to hit the ball into. You can see it. Somewhat of a high line, you usually see the line right on that edge of the 18. Larry's service, only as far as Espria on the clearance. Espria, another chance! He scores! Daron Espria, second goal of the year, levels the match! Quite an emotional one, but he does well just to come back towards it. And even after that first strike, when it's blocked, he comes back onto the ball, and he just sets himself well. So well, he gets that composure, he gets his hips around it. Instead of going for the far corner, I think that's fooled Milia. And whether there's Bonnie's in front of him that he can't see the ball to the last moment. There'll be one minute, a minimum uh, of one minute of added time here in the first half. Here's Diego Valeri. Oh, it's going to end up with Maria! And again, and it's two! Providence Park set on fire just before halftime. Marvin Luria Timbers go up 2-1. And conviction, it's a nightmare for the center back Fontes, who misjudges the ball as Valerius tried to thread it in. It falls kindly to Luria a couple times. And the second one off the right back, Lindsay, puts it right in the path for the final tap in from Luria. Right back for Sporting Kansas City, sets him up. 1-2, right into the back of the net. And for the Timbers now, what a time to score before halftime. And for the two players, I said you needed to see more of Aspria and Luria. They've got the Timbers back in the match. This year, they have four wins and 13 points from losing positions. No other team in the league entering this weekend had more than one win. Here's Polito, a good chance for him. Now it's Johnny Russell. Steve Clark made the save. And it took a deflection as well. It wasn't easy for Clark. To everybody, to his manager. But the Timbers, they get out of it. Whether that was the hand of Steve Clark or the flexibility. Lindsay. Busio clipping it towards shallow eight. Tui Loma heads it away only as far as Espinosa. Espinosa at the byline. Johnny Russell off Super Rich. Hernandez sent it wide. It came off a Timbers defender. It's a corner. Russell. Busio whips it in. Dangerous ball. It's Polino off the side netting. What a wonderful chance. The Timbers treat their supporters to three points in their return to play.